Hi guys, in this video we are going to have a look on the concept Carnivalesque. I hope you have heard this word Carnivalesque. It's very important from net point of view and it is also a very popular concept and a very popular term under the, under the theory of structuralism. And uh, Carnivalesque is originated as Carnival in Mikhail Bakhtin's Problems of Dostoevsky's Poetics and it was further developed in Rabelais and his world. So I want you to remember the fact that the word Carnivalesque was developed or was originated as the word Carnival, as the word Carnival in Mikhail Bakhtin's Problems of Dostoevsky's Poetics and he further developed it in his other works, Rabelais and his world. Then what do you mean by carnival or what do you mean by this concept of carnivalesque? Here these are two examples of a carnival. I hope you know what is a carnival. A carnival is actually a festival or a celebration that occurs specially in Roman Catholic countries during the time of a feast. And here you can see the carnival will be filled with dancing processions, music, so and so and so and people will also have a tendency to wear masks. So these are the features that you can see in a carnival. So these are two examples of carnivals. It's a, it's a full complete celebration. It's full of celebration. It's full of joy. And according to Bhaktin, carnival is not a performance and does not differentiate the spectator from the performer. So if in a carnival you know there will be a hundreds of performances but according to Bhaktin there won't be a difference or so there is no difference between a performer and a spectator. The joy or the celebration or the freedom of the performer is also there in the spectator. If the performer has the freedom to dance, has the freedom to sing or has the freedom to do whatever he want then the spectator will also be having that freedom. So that is one of the concept of a carnival. So according to Bhaktin, carnival, in a carnival both the performer or the spectator or anyone who attends the carnival or anyone who becomes a part of the carnival just leave the moment. He leaves for that moment. He is not bothered of any regulations. He is not bothered of anything that, is, that lies outside the carnival. So he just leaves the moment. And all people who take part in the carnival live it, but it is not an extension of the real world or the real life, but rather as Bhaktin puts it, the world standing on its head. Because it's, it is actually a moment or it is actually a celebration where everyone is at their eccentric behavior and therefore you can say the world is the world standing on its head. The world is no longer calm, the world is no longer at peace, but the world is standing in its own head. So that is the concept of a carnival according to Bhaktin. And now moving on, how can we compare or how can we connect a carnival to this concept of carnivalesque or how can we connect this carnival to the human psyche of a human being or to the psyche of a human being. A carnival sense is deeply rooted in the human psyche on both the collective and individual level. If you consider the level or if you consider my mind or if we consider our minds together, you can see that every individual have this carnival sense in, encrypted in him or have this uh, carnival sense within him because it is a celebration of freedom, equality and abundance. This is actually the celebration. This is actually a sense in a human mind where they create for freedom, where they crave for abundance. You can see that in a carnival, uh, there is nothing called a single ice cream or a single celebration. You can eat ice cream as per you wish. You can eat chocolates as per you wish. Everything is in abundance. Everything is related with freedom and enjoyment. So according to Bhaktin, every human mind, if we consider it as an individual level or if we consider it as a collective level, every human mind has this carnival sense inherited in them. And according to Bhaktin, a carnivalistic sense of the world, when can we call the world or when can we call a celebration carnivalistic? The first thing is free and familiar interaction between people. The people who won't be having any conversation outside this carnival will be having a free interact interaction within the carnival. There won't be any class differences, there won't be any caste differences, there won't be any society differences. Anyone can interact with anyone as per their wish. So free interaction. 
second one is eccentric behavior if you want to dance you can dance if you want to sing you can sing so uh, or if you want to scream you can scream the 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 Irish, even the aristocratic people who won't laugh three times together they can laugh or they can have fun as per their want everyone will be in their eccentric behavior and next is carnivalistic misalliances for example there are certain things that can never be joined or that can never be connected for example old and young or uh, low and high so such things will be connected in a carnival there won't be any differences that is what we call carnivalistic misalliances so outside this carnival uh, these uh, things the low and the poor or the rich and the poor they won't be getting a connection within each other because they are they should be separated so here there is no such type of hierarchical differences there is no such uh, type of binary oppositions everything seems to be interconnected and sacrilegious according to Bhaktin everything that comes in a carnival is not sacred it's ungodly it's uh, it's it's a parody on something that is sacred so these are the four things or the four uh, points that Bhaktin points out to show the carnivalistic sense of the world. Free and familiar interaction between people, eccentric behavior, carnivalistic misalliances and sacrileges. Then the question comes, how can we understand whether a literature or whether a literary work is carnivalist or not? A work can be carnivalist if it has the following three features. First one is the reversal of hierarchies. As I said earlier, a carnival is the point where there is no sort of discipline, where there is no sort of uh, rules and regulations. It's completely a reversal of hierarchies. Eccentric behavior filled with chaos and humor. You won't be getting an idea why is he doing like that or why is she doing like that. They just simply act what they want to act or they simply do what they feel to do that is what we call eccentric behavior there is no uh, reason for it it is the moment of celebration of your freedom of your um, abundance so you can find eccentric behavior in literary works and then a non-linear pattern of narration if you have ever went to a carnival you know that there is no starting point there is no ending point everything will be mixed or everything will be uh, once you enter once you enter to the carnival everything will be interconnected or everything will be related you can go here or there whatever you want there won't be a particular direction okay so that is the another feature you won't be getting a non-linear pattern of narration in a carnival work so these are the important points that i want you to remember when you get to know about the concept of carnivalis so the first one is carnivalis the term was uh, made popular by Mikhail Bakhtin in his two important works and also and then we and then we go to know about what a carnival is then the carnival sense of a human mind and now and uh, the next one is a carnivalistic sense of the world and finally we also covered the area of what is um, a carnivalistic literature or what are the literary features that you can find in a carnivalistic work and that is all about this concept i hope you understood it thank you hope you enjoyed the video india's first rated virtual platform apple b launches classroom coaching for nta net english if you truly wish to crack net and is left unguided we are here with qualified faculties essential notes and systemized mock test we will make you achieve your goal with customized study plan, one-to-one -one interaction with students and personally designed timetable. We provide the best learning atmosphere for you to sit back and fulfill your dreams. For more details, contact us on 